This time last year, Shane and Lauren Tritton were in Perth trying their luck in the Inter Dominion series with their paces Easy on the Eye and Mac Beauty. Since then, a lot has happened with the pair. They have said farewell to some of their horses off the racetrack. They've raced in a miracle mile. They become an official training partnership, just the second of its kind in the New South Wales harness racing scene. And they even tied the knot over in Hawaii. And during all of this, they have raced some nice horses, tasted interstate success and won many features. But this last week has given the young couple results like none other. With 12 of their horses engaged in races at Tabcourt Park Menangle last Saturday and also on Tuesday, Shane and Lauren walked away with four winners and each of those wins had a significance. The first of those wins was when Arms of an Angel won the Group 3 Norm's Daughter Stakes. She rated 150.7, breaking the M2 class record at Menangle and has now broken the mile rate of 152 with a winning performance seven times. But it's Arms of an Angel below the 200. She's two, she's three in front of Change Over a Flying who's trying hard. Running on very quickly now, Helen's bonus, but in front is Arms of an Angel with 75 to go. Holding rivals at bay and Arms of an Angel wins it. Arms of an Angel beats Helen's bonus by two. We had The second win was courtesy of Salty Robin, where he ran a mile in 151.4, but it was his last half of 53.4 that saw him clock the fastest last half leader to leader at Menangle. Roran's trying to make ground and then came further out. Franco Tarek unleashing its burst. 27-1 for the third quarter. It's Salty Robin, the leader. Roran tries hard. Franco Tarek runs home. So too does I'm twice the delight, but Salty Robin too good. And Salty Robin wins it by two. At that very track on Tuesday, Blue Moon Rising went a career best mile rate with this win when he rated 152.8. It was his 11th win in 12 starts and his ninth win in a row. Try to wind up Jacket Turk sticks on, but it's Blue Moon Rising at the 150, about four in front of Shape Up Mike, the boys GNP, Spike Bromax running home very stoutly down the outside, but down to the wire, and Blue Moon Rising is going to be too good. A race later, the Tritons mayor Katie Perry bounced back into the winner's circle, cruising past the line in 151.3. It seems as though motherhood is agreeing with the five-year-old who was just recently confirmed to be in foal to Art Major. So the question needs to be asked, is she the fastest mare to win in foal? It's Katy Perry, the leader. 150 left to go. Better than Max's looming large, but Katie's full of running. Katy Perry's in front with 50 metres to go and Katy Perry all the way. Shane and Lauren have climbed up the New South Wales Premiership this week following these results.